Hey guys, Steve here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. I posted this pattern today of the uh, Jesus puzzle, just the uh, word Jesus uh, with the little puzzle tabs on it to hold it together. Simple little project and uh, I thought you might be able to uh, want to see a tutorial on how to create these uh, puzzle names. And we're going to use Inkscape, which is a free vector graphics program uh, that you can get at inkscape.org. And I'll put a link in the description below the video. I will also put a link to this particular pattern in the description below also. Uh, but what I want to do is just show you how to put this text on the screen, break it apart, and put the little tabs on it. And again, pretty simple process. So let's get rid of this picture here. And what I'm going to do to start out with is uh, just put the word Jesus on the screen. So I'm going to go over here to my text tool, click on it, and I'm going to use a font called Cooper Standard or sometimes called Cooper Black. And uh, we're going to set it to bold. I'm using this font just because it kind of have, has rounded uh, curves and edges and it uh, makes the pieces fit together pretty well and again I'll put a link where you can get uh, this particular font below also in the description uh, but I've got the Cooper standard selected I've got it set on 200 point font which is a pretty good size font uh, I'm going to click on the screen type our Jesus word onto the screen and now what we need to be able to do is you can see if I select this it's all one object in other words all the letters are combined as an object and we want to break them apart so we can move them closer together so to do that you're going to go up here to path object to path click that nothing happens then you're going to go to object ungroup and you can see now each individual letter is an individual object which we can move closer together so I'm gonna select the E hold down the control key and move the E to the left same with the S move it to the le left until it overlaps move the U over till it overlaps and again we'll take the S and move it over now we can select with our pick tool which is the top tool right here drag a lasso around all the letters so they're all selected I'm going to go down and I'm going to uh, right click on one of the gray areas and click on set fill that'll turn the text gray so we can see what we're doing I'm going to right click on black set stroke and that's going to put a stroke around the letters now what we need to do is add the little puzzle tabs and very simply all we're going to do is come over here select our uh, circle button we're going to draw a small circle on the screen I'm holding down the control key to keep it proportional and go back up to our pick tool now we can take this circle put it right there I'm going to right click on it hit copy right click paste I've got another one I'll move it up here right click paste another circle I'll move it right here right click paste I'll move it over to the S now we've got our tabs but they don't look quite right because they're not welded to the letters so I'm going to take and with my pick tool selected I'm going to click on the circle hold down the control key click on the, I'm sorry hold down the shift key now we've got both of these items selected I can go to path union and you can see now that circle is welded to the S do the same thing here hold down the shift key path union select the circle select the S with the shift key path union select the circle select the E path union and now you can see we've got our puzzle which is ready to cut they're still individual objects so we can select all of them with the pick tool go up to object and group and now you've got them grouped together to where you can move it around you can print this out 
Uh, paste this to a three-quarter inch thick piece of wood, cut it out, and you've got a puzzle. Now, obviously, you could do this with any name. Some letters fit together a little better than others. You may have to, you know, jumble them around just a little bit to get exactly what you want. Uh, but it makes a cute little puzzle for kids. Uh, they seem to like them. So, quick tutorial there. I'm Steve with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Thanks for being with me here at the Scroll Saw Workshop, and we'll catch you next time.